Hello and welcome to another episode of Cad's V Scale Railroad. Today I'm going to talk about a tool I've created to help me organize all my rail operations. After building out the layout to large size, adding lots of interactive industries and rolling stock, it became very apparent I needed to be able to organize all this information. I looked into a lot of options, but the best solution is a relational database. Building my own from scratch is basically too much work, so I wanted to find a solution that was very easy to set up and manage. I found a free online version that works really well, and then I made a front end to interface with it. I call it the Dispatch Manager, and the first view that I see when I open it is an overview of my entire layout, separated by areas which happen to correspond to grids in the game. So I just mouse over the areas that I want to find out more information about. Let's take a look at Northeast Inland, which is part of four quadrants of the Inland Steel Industrial Complex. So upon clicking on Northeast Inland, I now can see all the related information about that area. Starting at the top, it's the area indicator, then below that is the location table, which contains all the industries in that area, and then below that is the consists table, which is all the uh, related uh, rolling stock uh, connected to each of those industries, and then below that is the jobs, which are the collection of consists that are related to this area. I can also access each individual table to see a collection of all the pertinent data. Starting off with locations, then a list of consists, then all the rolling stock, all the commodities, areas, and jobs. So there you have it. I have all the information I need to put together trains, to find out what industries I have, uh, to find out what commodities they are receiving and shipping, and what rolling stock is needed for those commodities. So I can see all that information in one place, organized and accessed by areas. So this is how I can uh, operate all my trains and remember all this information. So that concludes my overview of the Dispatch Manager. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.